Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And you know, there is a story emerging about Shia LaBeouf this weekend that ultimately had nothing to do with his He Will Not Divide Us uh, protest, which is currently now in limbo. And uh, I, I will be talking about that on my other channel because it's not as fun as He Will Not Divide Us, but it's still worth noting. Shia is an interesting character. He's a person that has kind of bucked the celebrity mindset and is now just trying to, well, be a uh, an indie star darling. And his movies tend to do okay when they come out. He has a strong following and he is a very... Uh, gifted actor, in my opinion. I like most of the work that he does uh, when he's not trying to do zany art house protests and shit like that. But this particular movie is funny because reports are coming out that it only sold one ticket uh, for Man Down, which is this movie you guys are seeing uh, kind of flashed in front of you on the screen in the UK this past weekend. And a lot of people are using it as a way to mock Shia uh, and mock his current status as a celebrity or as a movie star and to generally make fun of him. But I think there are things with this particular story that do need to be addressed. Number one, this movie is not new. Man Down originally came out in 2015. So this film is about a year and a half old for all intents and purposes. Uh, it's available on digital media right now. You can, I think, digitally download it or stream it possibly through Netflix. I'm not entirely sure where to get it, but it is already out. Uh, why it was playing in one theater in the UK, I don't know, actually. I know in the United States... Uh, when it comes to trying to get distribution deals for these kind of indie projects, they usually would is they do what they call four walling it, which is they then go to a small theater, they rent out an auditorium for a showing or a week or whatever, usually about a week. And then they take whatever financial box office report they can get from that and use it as a way to sell it to distributors. Now, this movie in the United States did hit theaters and grossed only about four hundred and fifty four thousand dollars. So essentially, it, it, while it's 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 not a, a success by any by any stretch of the imagination, it is also not the flop that these articles, you know, saying that only one person bought a ticket for uh, are trying to make it out to be this. This is a story that does have a lot more elements to it. And so by it playing only in the one theater, I can only assume that they are trying to get some distribution deals for the project uh, in the UK. And they're trying to maybe do the same principle they would do uh, in the United States for that particular um, film. So there is that. Now, this movie itself, let's just talk about the movie itself. So the movie itself deals a lot with PTSD. Okay, so Shia LaBeouf plays a soldier um, who goes to Afghanistan. Um, and while he's there, his best friend, played by Jai Courtney, is at home, injured, and getting ready to go to Afghanistan. But he's also there looking after Shia LaBeouf's wife and son. When they get to Afghanistan, the best friend is shot. Uh, and that's when Shia finds out that he was having an affair with uh, with the friend. And then, you know, he starts kind of de developing PTSD. He goes home. His whole world is destroyed. Like his city is destroyed. His wife and son are gone and he's trying to track them down. And as the story progresses, you basically come to find out or well, we already know this essentially as an audience. But Shia doesn't know this, that uh, his friend is dead. He died in Afghanistan. Shia went crazy, suffered PTSD uh, and shot somebody else and then is also confronted by police and then shot by police. Now, the, the concept of the term man down in this particular story is actually in reference to saying, I love you. And it has something to do with the beginning of the movie where Shia is taking his son to school. He says, I love you in front of his son or in front of his son's friends. The kid gets embarrassed. And so what they do is they come up with the code word man down in order to make that be the uh, the 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 tricky sneaky way of saying I love you. So then, you know, people aren't laughing at the kid, right? So that's kind of the plot. So again, the movie didn't really do well with with critics. I think Rotten Tomatoes has it at about a fifteen percent. Um, you know, and so it's one of those ones that came out a long time ago. Uh, it's a small independent film, and. It's not going to go anywhere, but now because of this controversy of it, you you are going to basically realize that more people are going to go check it out, whether it's through uh, streaming services or or even going to the theater. In fact, because of the, the news of this being put out there, two more people went to go see it in the theater, chalking it up to to three total tickets sold. So it's well on its way to 
maybe earning its money back and getting the film more recognition overall. So ultimately, this will only support Man Down as a film, uh, even though it is laughable in terms of what has happened with it in this particular story. But anyway, I just wanted to update you guys with that information. I'm very curious to know what you guys think about this. Do you plan on seeing the movie? Do you think the plot sounds stupid? Do you think... Uh, the whole situation is dumb. Is it just laughable? These are things I want to know. Go ahead and let me know in the comments. My name is, of course, Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Buck Theater. I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a fantastic day. Oh, yeah, be sure to comment and like and subscribe and share it around. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Peace out.